To me, the meaning of love is overused and underappreciated by people these days. I want to remind you about a true story of love. On day negative four, a young man and a young girl met at a movie theater. On that very same day, the first kiss between the two was shared. On day one, the young man had, had the young girl over at his mother's house with other friends and knew in that moment it was the right time to ask the girl to be his girlfriend. On day 15, the two of them were having a conversation while the girl was speaking. The man looked at her and just blurted out that he loved her. On day 108, the girl had finally said that she loved him too, and for the first time in their relationship, they had both known that they truly did have love for one another. On day 2139, the man had been thinking about wanting to ask the girl if she would spend the rest of his life with her. But first he had to ask her father. While gathering up as much care as he could, he asked the father and he said yes. He was very happy that they were gonna get married. Bella, on your wedding day as you say I do, I want you to know that I will. I will always love you. I will always be here for you. I will always cherish every moment in life that has brought you to this moment. I will never forget all the sporting events that I had not only the pleasure of coaching, but also the indescribable joy and pride of watching you play. I will cherish your kids if you choose to have a family. I will respect your wishes if you choose not to. I will look forward to watching you teach your kids things you may not know until you experience them for yourself. I will always hope that your mind is at ease and free of conflict on all the things that life throws at you. I will always do my best to guide you and advise you and provide for you whenever necessary. I will never interfere in matters that don't concern me. I will always be proud of you through the easy decisions and the hard ones. I will give the same love and support to Trevor that I give you. I will always love you unequivocally and unconditionally. Who gives the bride away today? Yeah. I'm already crying. Really? Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Why are you, you crying? You go first. I don't know. I just love it so much. <laughs> Alright, well, I need my other hand for a second. Okay. Alright. Alright, you ready? Where's your hand at? Alright. Hi Trevor, take you Bella to be my wedded wife and cherish you as long as we both shall live. And cherish you as long as we both shall live. We'll get there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to first introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Gilmer. Without love in your heart, without love by your side, without love playing part, tell me what you do, tell me what you do, without love in your heart, without love by your side. Without love playing part Tell me what you do Tell me what you do are his best friend and you always have been. The way he looks at you and the way you look at him, I mean, I wish I could have that once in a lifetime. With that said, um, I'd like to make a toast to Trevor and Bella and to live life for the moment.
everyone here would agree that we are better off by having Bella and Trevor in our lives. When I think about a soulmate for Bella, it's Trevor, and I couldn't picture it any other way. <laughs> I promise to be your partner in raising our children. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and grow old with you. Today I will say I do, but to me that means I will. I will take your hand and stand by your side in the good and the bad. I dedicate myself to your happiness, success, and smile. I will love you forever, Trevor Russell. Take on this life with you. I love you so much. <laughs> 